morning, ESM. I'm Sophie. And I'm Erica. And today we'll be talking about the School Day of Nonviolence and Peace. January 30th is a special observance celebrating the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. More with that after news. Yesterday, a man wanted on abuse of a corpse charged in Alabama connections with the death of Peyton Houston, whose body was recently found in a shallow grave, was arrested in Cleveland, Ohio. Frederick Hampton, 50, was seized member of the Northern Ohio Violent Fugitive Task Force yesterday evening, and that was he was arrested for family members in Garfield Heights. Jefferson County, Alabama officials say earlier this month that they got a warrant charged in Hampton with abuse of a corpse. The body in Houston was found buried behind a home in Highway Town, January 3rd. She was reported missing on the 21st of December, and it was last leaving the bar with two men, who apparently she left willingly. Family members claimed to receive a text from Houston saying she didn't know where she was and she was feared that she was in trouble, but after the calls went to voicemail. Madeline Carborn, a six-year-old from New Jersey, has been credited with saving the lives of both of her parents and two-year-old brother from a house fire on Sunday. She was first to wake up from the fire, which occurred around 2 o'clock in the morning. With her actions of waking up her parents and the brother allowed her to get out of the house before the fire spread too far. The Annabelle, New Jersey Fire Department made a Facebook post saying, to all of us say here, and all the Annabelle Fire Department, you are so proud of you, is saying understandment. Way to go, Madeline. You indeed a hero. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The Madden tournament is still going strong. Yesterday's final matchup was a win for the ages, as Mr. Underwood and Isaiah Hayden's team won their game in the final seconds by throwing a Hail Mary pass and making several juke moves to run the ball in for a touchdown. The tournament will continue tonight after school in the library. All students and staff are welcome to come and join in on the fun. There's a big basketball game this weekend. ESM DECA will be hosting a staff versus student basketball game and a second game, which will be our local police officers versus firefighters. This will be held Saturday, February 1st, here at the high school in the large gym. The staff versus student game will begin at 6 o'clock, and the Battle of the Badges game will begin at 7.30. Student tickets are $3, and adult tickets will be $5. Tickets will be sold in the school store and at the door on the day of the event. All proceeds will go to the ESM Youth Sports. Come out and support your local community. As we mentioned earlier, the School Day of Nonviolence and Peace is today. Which was created by Spanish poet Laurent Vidal Vida in 1964 to celebrate nonviolent education and putting friendship and love above everything. Every school around the world can choose to partake in this holiday, but it's mostly Southern Hemisphere schools. There is a permanent message that carries through every year on this holiday, which is quoted as, quote, universal love, nonviolence, and peace. Universal love is better than egoism, nonviolence is better than violence, and peace is better than war. This quote can d differentiate throughout the years, but the central message is kept the same. Thinking about our lives today and how they've been impacted by the events that have happened in the past decade can make you realize how much violence surrounds us. Right. Although the frequency of school shootings have gone down since it peaked in 2019, the scars and memories that are left are unforgettable. Especially today, remember that what you do makes an impact on people, whether you know them or not. Right. And even if the number of shootings has decreased, violence is still very v visible in our daily lives at school. After the weather, we'll see how much violence affects our school and our public community. Today we will have a high of 29 with mixed sun and clouds. Friday there will be some morning sh snow showers with a high of 33. Going into this weekend there will be a few snow showers with highs in the mid 30s. Monday will be partly cloudy with a high of 41. Tuesday and Wednesday there will be mixed rain and snow showers. I'm Gabby with your weather. Your role in violence prevention. No matter where we live, the signs and impacts of violence are seen all around us. Violence has a lasting effect on the physical and mental well-being of youth, and is a public health issue that demands attention. 
violence can include bullying, physical fighting, sexual and physical assault, or homicide. Although rates of violence vary across the globe, many teens are either victims, witnesses, or perpetrators of violence while at home, at school, or at work. Research shows that 22.6% of youth in grades 9 through 12 report being in a physical fight within the last year. 20.2% report being bullied on school property, while 15.5% report being bullied electronically. In addition, 10% of high school age students report experiencing physical violence, and another 10% report experiencing sexual violence from a dating partner within the last year. Everyone can play a role in preventing violence. Take action by telling a trusted adult about your concerns and asking for help. If you are worried about being a victim of violence, ask someone in authority to help you develop a safety plan for when you are in a potentially dangerous situation. If you are feeling angry, remain calm, listen to the other person's point of view, and try to seek different solutions and compromises. Also, talk to a friend about your feelings. If you have been victimized or have witnessed the victimization of another, you are not alone. Help is out there. Talk with a parent, a teacher, or a trusted adult. It's important to seek help as soon as possible. Remember, there are a number of organizations whose sole purpose is to work with teens in the prevention and treatment of teen violence. You can take the first step by contacting your local health department, police station, or medical facility for more information. The wrestling team lost last night in a tough matchup against JD. Connor Todd, Alex Leo, and Aslan Abdullah all had pins in the loss. In upcoming games, both the bowling teams will play Auburn today. The girls basketball team plays against Watertown tonight at 6. Both the track teams have a meet, and the girls volleyball team plays at Oneida tonight at 6.30. Good luck to all the Spartans, and go out and support. And I'm John Wayne Sports. It's important to find peace within ourselves in order to grow and learn. Anger builds resentment and rage, which is unhealthy to ourselves along with others. So with that being said, take a moment today and breathe, since life is too short for us to be angry. From Erica, I, and everyone here at The Morning Show, be the change you wish to see in the world.